fact, millions of innocent people have died. Fact, this all started in China. Fact, the US is doing absolutely nothing to find the perpetrators of this insane, insane crisis. Another fact, last time a large amount of innocent people, innocent Americans died, the US went absolutely crazy going around the world to turn over every stone in the far corners of places to find the perpetrators of who caused those innocent people to die. And yet they're doing nothing, nothing right now with what is going on and all of the innocent people have died. Now, this is speculation. I'm not gonna claim this is a fact, but I'm pretty confident that this entire problem was created in a lab. Unless you're one of the folks who still believe that this actually came from uh, some bat that escaped somewhere, uh, a snake or uh, some, some weird uh, armadillo type creature that people were eating. Randy? Randy? Do you know what a mango is, Dad? So first, let's go over what this war is not gonna be. Now, this war is not gonna be a military war. This war is not going to be a political war. The battlegrounds, this war is going to be fought on communication networks, the internet, the media, the TV, culture. This war is gonna be fought on transportation networks. We see that trade and seas and ports and taxes and tariffs and all sorts of other trade and transportation, whether it's biological transportation or any sorts of transportation of goods and stuff. And the other place this is gonna be fought is data. We already see this happening. So the question is, who's gonna benefit and who's not gonna benefit? Now, this is all speculation, but I really encourage you to comment in the description and let me know your viewpoints on this because I really want to encourage a conversation to go here. And the only way you can fight a shadow is by shining light on it. You cannot argue with a shadow, you cannot negotiate a shadow, you cannot shoot a shadow, you cannot strangle a shadow to death. All you can do with a shadow is shine light on it and hope that it will eventually go away. But usually what shadows do, as does the devil, is they shift. You shine a light on a shadow and it moves somewhere. This is the cycle of the earth. Who's gonna benefit the most is internet and tech workers, internet and technology entrepreneurs. I'm extremely privileged to be in a space where I'm both an influencer, I run a software company, I run a marketing company, and I have a lot of money to be able to deploy in smart ways. I've been extremely blessed to be inoculated from this entire crises and all this market volatility that we've been seeing going on based on my, my businesses that I've been running as an entrepreneur online for the last 10 years. Now, the reason why internet and tech workers and entrepreneurs are gonna be so benefited by this is because the internet is unstoppable. You cannot shut down the internet. The internet is the ultimate decentralized platform. It allows anybody from anywhere to communicate with anybody using all these pipes and connections. Now countries try to close this off, but you can't because Elon Musk installed satellites covering, literally covering the entire world. So anybody can access internet, no matter what a country's policy on internet service providers is. Anybody can build their own server to show websites on the internet. It's free. Just build your own computer and you can show websites anywhere in the world. I've made my money in tech and I've been super fortunate, but let's talk about who's not going to benefit too. Again, all speculation, right? And I really want a conversation going in the comments here, but who I believe is not going to benefit is people who have their money in currencies and stocks. We see monster 
amounts of manipulation going on right now in the currency markets and in the stock markets. It's insane. The interest rates and the amount of money flooding the markets is at just unprecedented levels. And this actually presents a very interesting opportunity for folks who know how to get access to this these hordes of cash that are being made available and able to take that cash and put it into places that hedge their risk when maybe a black swan event happens or some sort of downside events that take advantage of the people who are gonna get fleeced. They're gonna get screwed. The common folks right now are should be just preparing their backsides because it's gonna be disgusting. And we are at the very beginning of everything that is about to happen. But that also means that we are living in the biggest opportunity of our freaking lifetimes. If you know where to go, if you know what to do, if you know what business models or what companies to work for, you are going to be in a position to make hordes of cash and be instantly one of the elite in the world after this five or 10 year period, whatever it is going to be, is over. But seriously, what am I, what am I basing all of this off? Where is all this information coming from? Where do these thoughts even come into my mind? Well, I study success. I study wealth and I study billionaires. One of the people I really look to the most for my ideas in life is an author named Neil Stevenson. And specifically, this book of his predicts everything that's been going on right here today. 883 pages? It predicts exactly what's going to happen. And it is all playing out right now. Now, Neil Stevenson created the most similar model for what the internet, also what augmented reality and what virtual reality look like in his books that he released in the 80s. Now, the internet was already around, but in his book, Snow Crash, he really goes over what the internet became. And subsequently, he has been consulted with, he has been hired and consulted with and befriended by the most successful people on this earth. You can look this up. Bill Gates is one of his personal friends up in Seattle and a massive, advocate of his books, even though they really run contrary to a lot of what Bill Gates talks about himself. Elon Musk is also somebody who works with and has consulted with Neil Stevenson. Jeff Bezos has consulted with Neil Stevenson. And so has Google, Sergey Brin, Larry Page, and their company Magic Leap which Google also bought and installed Neil Stevenson as the chief futurist of their company. Now we have a list of four or five of the richest people in the entire planet Earth. Every one of those folks I named, I believe has a net worth of over a hundred billion dollars. And all of these folks' careers and businesses depend on being able to prepare for and invent the future. Neil Stevenson is who these folks look to. And in Neil Stevenson's book, which came out a year before all of this craziness happened, in 2019, he released his book talking about the fragmentation of the American empire. My prediction is that America will become multiple jurisdictions and that boundaries don't necessarily matter anymore. You know, we look at World War I and World War II and these were wars about boundaries, right? These were wars about land and I own, I own this land. No, I, I, it should, the line should be over here. It doesn't matter anymore because everything can be controlled digitally through computers, through data, through net data networks, the communication networks, through sensors. 
Boundaries don't matter anymore. And we're moving to a world where governments, which have been in charge of and really operated within physical land boundaries, are becoming obsolete. Cultural wars are going on right now behind the scenes. The battlegrounds are these social media sites, these, these big media networks, and they span all boundaries. The internet spans everything. And that's why this war that's happening will affect so many folks and so many people. And it's a shadow war again. It isn't something you can pin down with a finger. It isn't something you can touch or see or define or argue with. What we are in is a shadow war. And I believe this is going to be one of the craziest periods right now, going into the future, the next few years, going to be one of the craziest periods of our lives but also there's so much money to be made. And I'm so excited because being in the tech and the internet and the entrepreneurial space that I'm in opens me and many of the folks who listen to my musings on, or not musings, but listen to my advice on how to start internet and businesses and whatnot are profiting so well right now. So let's go into how to profit from these changes. First off, I've been teaching affiliate marketing for years. Affiliate marketing is where you post links on the internet and if somebody clicks your link and ends up buying the product on the web page that you linked to, you earn a commission. Generally around $50 to $100 Sometimes, like with uh, the affiliate program I'm launching soon, you can earn thousands of dollars from a single click. The other major segment that will obviously be a great place to make a lot of money is investments. If you know where and when and what to invest in. If you're thinking you're gonna invest in some influencer promoted scam coin, you're dumb. You're not gonna make money on that. This Jake Paul's poop coin is not the future of society and of currency. The number one way to lose money is going to be not embracing the internet. Again, the number one way to lose money in this is to do nothing and not embrace the internet because the governments, everybody knows what you wanna do is nothing and nothing is the most dangerous thing you can possibly do right now and in coming future because nothing is going to make sure that all of your money in stocks or in cash slowly dwindles down the amount of manipulation in the currency markets in the stock markets in the media. I mean, it's just, it, it boggles my mind. I see it as, as an influencer with the, the amount of social media filtering algorithms, <laughs> censorship. It's obscene. People don't know what's going on anymore. So if you really want to take advantage of all of these coming changes that are going on, if you want, if you like hearing my viewpoints, on what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be releasing a lot more videos about what's going on and exactly step-by-step step how to profit from these changes. In fact, as I said before, I'm putting together an affiliate program for folks to make thousands and thousands of dollars. But I'd really like your feedback. I'd like you to join my little community. Let's put a comment down and give me a hoorah. Give me a subscribe, enable notifications, and let's get this party started because there's gonna be so much money available for all of us if you really just don't just sit on your butt and do nothing. So thanks for watching this video. This is a very new topic for me as I've never spoken about the trends before. I've always stuck to just marketing topics, but I feel it is my moral imperative to talk about what is going on in the world right now because I'm connected with a lot of people. I live in, I'm living in Malibu, California, and I have very rich, very privileged position friends that are very connected, and I do a lot of business. I work with a lot of people. 
have a lot of folks feed me information and I want to get that information to you to help you prepare for everything that's about to come. So thanks for watching this video. Seriously and sincerely hope you subscribe. And if you think I'm just a complete conspiracy job nutcase that's off my rocker, feel free to unsubscribe. I don't care. But if you do stay, I'm really happy to have you here and excited to share my viewpoints with you and help you prepare for this craziness. It's a change in the system of the world. Talk soon.